In this video, I'm going to show you how to create YouTube Shorts with Pictory. Now, this will work with any platform that accepts a video in a 9x16 format. So, this will work with TikTok, this will work with Instagram Reels, and it will work with Facebook Reels, it will work with Rumble. So, any platform that accepts the vertical videos, this will work for. So, it's really, really easy to do. So, we're going to use the script to video option here in Pictory. What I've done is I've used ChatGPT to create a short script for me. So all I did was told ChatGPT to create a 30-second YouTube short script about bowling handicap. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy my, copy my uh, script in here. And I'm going to go over here to script to video in the pink on the end here and click proceed. Now, keep in mind that Pictory does not have a um, mobile option at this time. You can only do this on desk desktop. So, I'm going to go ahead and paste in my uh, script. I'm going to go ahead and click the scene settings. So, I go up to scene settings and there's a few options here. Auto highlight keywords. This is um, keywords that if their AI thinks that the keyword is relevant in that the most relevant keyword, it's going to highlight it. So I'm going to go ahead and tick that off because I don't I don't want the highlighted keywords. Uh, the auto visual selection, I'm going to leave that tick because that's going to create royalty free stock footage on your videos. Now this footage is 100% safe to use. It will not give you any type of copyright strikes because it is stock footage. And then we can create new scenes. You can tell it to create a new scene on your script based on a sentence break, a line break, or both. So I'm going to click, I'm going to make sure both is selected. And I'm going to go ahead and click proceed up in the top right hand corner. Now we get to choose our template. Our template is how the text is going to look on the video. So as you can see, each template has a different color of text and background, and it gives you different, uh, different places to uh, put the text, either the top, the bottom, or in the middle. You can scroll down and do whichever one that you want. I usually do the corporate because I think it looks the best for what I do. So I'm going to click corporate, and now we choose an aspect ratio. So the aspect ratio that we want for a short form video is the 9 by 16 vertical video. I'm going to go ahead and select 9 by 16. And it's going to go ahead and create the storyboard now. So what it did was it gathered the royalty-free stock footage and it created scenes. It created scenes from that. So as you can see, it created four scenes. Now you can do whatever you want with these scenes. You can... Click on each one and in inside and you can make changes to the text. You can reorder them by clicking drag to reorder and reorder the different scenes. And you can split the scenes up if you want. So if you click on, like I'll click here after against and I'll delete that space. I'll click split scene and it creates that into two scenes. And it will use the same video as well. So also what you can do is we'll go down here to visuals over on the left hand side of the screen and this gives you all the scenes that it used for your slides so this is what the ai came up with that would be best for your video not always are they going to be the best so i would recommend that you go through each scene and select the ones that are best for you if it's not best selected so we'll go to scene one and this looks like somebody bowling. That looks good. Scene two, subtracting your total score from... It looks like somebody sitting at a bowling table or something. Um, you can... That may be... We can change that if we want. So I, if we want to change that, we can do... Over here, go search for images and videos. And we'll do... We'll search for calculate. And then we'll do um, this one. And that looks better. And you just go through each scene just to make sure that each scene that the AI did the best job for each scene. Once you've done that, you can go on down here on the left-hand side. So elements, 
This is if you want to put elements in there, emojis, GIFs, or stickers. I normally don't do that, but you have the option to do that. Um, audio. So audio is where you can select your background music and you can select your voiceover if you don't have a voiceover. You can record your own voice if you want for each scene, but I normally don't do that. I just use the voiceover that Pictory gives me. And they're really good voices too. So what I like to do is go ahead and look through each one and you can click the play button and it will play the music and you can see which one you like best. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've already created, I've already favorited the ones that I like. And you can do that by clicking the heart next to each one. Go to voiceover. You can select the voice that you want to use and you, you just need to click apply on each one to, to use the one. And you can click the play button, preview it. You can go ahead and you can uh, select different nationalities, different languages and things like that. And it's really got a lot of voices in here. So I'm going to go ahead in my favorites and I have uh, Sunday morning as my background. I'm going to go click apply for that. That's been applied. And then voiceover is Jeff Mail. I'm going to go ahead and click apply for that. For some reason, this does not say applied when I click this. So what I do is I go back over to voiceover and I'll scroll down just to make sure that Jeff Mail has been applied. Now you can go in and you can select text and you can add text to your video if you want. You can go into styles and you can change the style. You can change the way your text looks in the intro and the outro. And you can also change the position of your text on each slide. We're going to go down to branding now and you can do branding, which means you can put your own logos on any position of the video that you want to put it in. And then your intro text, you can put intro text, you can put outro text and scene, your scene logo goes here. And then your format, you can change the format again. If you feel that you don't want the 9 by 16 portrait, you can change it to any of the others as well. And you can optimize generate a video for size. That would, that would reduce the file size. So all you do now is go to preview. And it's going to render the video for your preview. And I'm going to turn my sound up because I'm not sure if you can hear this. A bowling handicap is a way to level the playing field between bowlers of different skill levels. It's calculated by subtracting your average score from a standard average. It means that you can compete against bowlers of any skill level. Okay, so that's all I'm going to play. I'm not going to play the whole thing. But um, as you can see, there's a watermark here. It says story blocks. That watermark will be removed when you download the final product. As long as you have an active subscription and you download it with an active subscription, the watermark will be removed. If you're on a free trial and you download it, you will download with watermark. I think you get three downloads with a free trial. So you do have the option to try it out for three videos, to make three videos if you want. But it will have the watermark if you have the free trial. So that's it. And then all you have to do is click download, download video. And that's all you have to do. So I hope you found this video helpful to you. If you did, please give it a like below. Also subscribe to the channel if 